Tonight's state public health officials are preparing their emergency response teams to deal with California's deadly flu crisis. A new death in Solano County reported today has driven the death toll to 28 across the state. That's three times more than last year. Officials say the number does not account for the elderly and they're urging people to get vaccinated. So how effective is the flu shot this year? CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is live at the State Department of Health getting answers for us tonight. Lamore. Christina and Tony, tonight, officials here at the State Department of Health tell me the flu shot may only be about 40% effective this year, and they say this flu season is shaping out to be the worst to hit the state in a decade. I hope I don't get it. Yeah. I've been vaccinated. As people rush to get their flu shots, the deadly virus shows no sign of letting up. We're at levels that we usually see at the peak of the flu season. California Public Health Dr. James Watt warns this flu season peaked early and is spreading quickly. That's because people in the state are catching a particularly dangerous strain called influenza A, a strain the flu shot doesn't always protect against. We see more deaths. Another thing is we see more people being hospitalized. State data shows 70% of the people who died this year did not get their flu shot. Would that mean that 30% of them got the flu shot and died? That's correct, and that's what we usually see. Still, doctors say the vaccine can prevent the flu and shorten symptoms. Well, I'm really going to probably regret not taking the time to get it. <coughs> For those already infected, they're finding the antiviral drug used to treat the flu, known as Tamiflu, is running out. Here at this pharmacy in Midtown Sacramento, this box of Tamiflu is the last one in the store. Pharmacists tell me the drug has been back ordered since December, and now they say the wholesalers are all out. Our primary supplier, this is the last box uh, that we were able to get from them, and, uh, and I've actually, it's already tagged for another patient. Is there a shortage of Tamiflu in the state? So there is not a shortage of, of the antiviral medicines used to treat influenza. Dr. Watt says distributors just can't keep up with demand and the state's working with pharmaceutical companies to get medication on store shelves as fast as possible. Meanwhile tonight doctors here have some common sense tips we should all be following. Avoid touching your hands to, uh, on random things. Avoid touching your face and wash your hands regularly. I like to keep one of these hand sanitizers in my pocket. This does the trick. Tony and Christina, back to you. So, Lamar, a few questions because this is obviously a lot of layers to this. We know about the people most at risk. We're hearing tonight that a single flu shot may not be enough for them. So, are health officials saying what they should be doing tonight? Tonight, Tony, health officials are recommending double doses for the elderly, but they advise them, people with concerns, to talk to their doctors before doing anything. And Lamore, really quick before you go, if the season did start early, does that mean that it's going to end early? Or are we in for it for the long haul? Officials can't say that for sure. They do say once again, this flu season started a lot earlier. It peaked in December and it usually lasts a couple of months, but the flu is unpredictable, so it could go on until February. Back to yeah. you, Christina and Tony. Pretty scary stuff. Lamore, mm -hmm. thanks for the update.